Morena. Morena. Flip, it's cold, eh? Yes, it's freezing. Today's walk and talk is inspired from a girl named Charlotte. She left us a beautiful message on Instagram. After watching our last walk and talk on our ethical fashion report. She got us inspired to talk about who actually cares about you in our fashion industry. Seems pretty basic and common. Dee and I hired some researchers, some scientists and a graphic designer to come up with this chart for you guys. Yeah, very professional people, very expensive <laughs> and um, very well uh, educated people too, yeah, so. My name's Damien. <laughs> <laughs> but here's our graph. Bottom part of the graph indicates three different facets of fashion. We have fast fashion, ethical fashion and confusing fashion. Confusing fashion being those who think they're being ethical that ain't or those who say they're being ethical and they're not. I'd say confusing fashion is also people who they say they want to change to ethical fashion and they give you like projections of what they can achieve within like five years but they never actually get there so it's quite confusing as to whether they're actually going to do it or not. That's a good point. There's quite a few of those out there. And then on the y-axis we have how huge they are. Um, how big they are as a company, indicated by our beautiful pink color. Fast fashion is massive. So big it goes off our charts. <laughs> <laughs> Ethical fashion, as you can imagine, is tiny. It's only a real small industry. Sadly, but slowly getting bigger and bigger. And confusing fashion is still considerably quite large. Indicated by the blue. We have our negative impacts on our earth. Fast fashion. Yeah, hugely <laughs> a negative impact on our on our earth. Confusing fashion is yep, as you'd suspect, has a still has a massive impact on our earth. And then ethical fashion obviously is much smaller, but you still have to have a bar there because any amount of clothing that's being made is contributing to something. Their efforts are much, 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 much smaller. So according to the chart so far, the whole world needs to go naked. <laughs> 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 in the yellow we have care about you and your pet and the reason we put your pet is because people seem to care about their animals more than humans yeah so we're hoping that um if it affecting your pet it might affect your decision making and buying fast fashion so yeah the ultimate goal of this is just to show you how much these different facets of the fashion industry care about you ethical fashion is huge obviously they care about our planet our earth they care about the people that are making the clothing the confusing fashion they say they care and i think they kind of do yeah they at least they're putting uh, yeah, it's hard to say. It's just confusing. <laughs> <laughs> there is a tiny bit of effort going in there, I guess. It just depends whether some people actually turn over to becoming ethical or not, or if they're just doing it because it's like the trend at the moment. And then we have fast fashion, which we should actually just scribble that out because they just don't give a flying F. There is a spec there. The reason why I put it there is because those involved in the fast fashion industry are humans too and they care about themselves. I think they deserve a spec. <laughs> <laughs> that spec is for their own wallets, their own pockets. Themselves. And their own wealth. Nice that they actually care about themselves. Self-love. Self, you know, the self whole trend. Yeah. Self-love. <laughs> <laughs> and back to our team on the street. Back to Damien and Chanel. Thinking about it. It makes a lot of sense. A smaller company being ethical fast fashion actually do give a damn. And the big ones just really don't care about us. Yeah. They just care about their money and their pocket. It's so basic. It's so simple. Mm -hmm. We need to support those who do give a damn about us. Yeah. And, and why our would, planet. Yeah. And why would you even give your money to people who don't even care about you? Truthfully, they just don't. There's a bunch of awesome ethical companies out there who actually do give a damn about us. And we're going to find them all. Yeah. We're going to find them, them all. You. And you can help us locate them too. Yeah, let us know about them. We're keen to hear from them, interview them. If anyone's got any other ideas, please uh, comment below and we'll make a video on it. Yeah. Hard. Yep. Thank yous again. Oh, thank you. See ya. See ya. It's freaking cold, man. <laughs> Let's go. Georgie! <laughs> Georgie! Oi! Put it on! What one will she respond to? H&M! Come here! It was H&M. <laughs> They're the biggest of them all. <laughs> come here, you naughty girl. <laughs>